Today, I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary egg into this really cool squidgy translucent egg, which even bounces. It's made by basically dissolving the shell from an uncooked chicken egg. Start by putting your egg in a glass, then take some white vinegar and pour it into the glass to cover the egg. You can see that straight away small bubbles start to form round the entire egg. What's happening is the acid in the vinegar starts to react with the calcium carbonate eggshell and slowly dissolves it. The chemical reaction produces these carbon dioxide bubbles. As well as the egg in the glass, I'm also going to do three additional ones, just in case we need spares. And we need to leave them soaking for about 24 hours. After six hours, you can see the shell is already getting soft and the outer layer is starting to dissolve. It's also really slippery, so do handle it carefully. And if we check the other three, we can see they're the same. Once we've left them for 24 hours, you should find the shell has pretty much completely dissolved and they're held together with a very thin membrane which was underneath the shell. They really are slippery, so do handle them carefully. You might need to rub off any remnants of the shell and wash it off in the vinegar. You can see this one still has a bit of a white coating. But when you wash it off, the egg is slightly translucent and you can see the yolk in the middle. If you do need to wash off any remaining shell, handle them very delicately. And do be careful because the membrane holding them together is very thin. The one I made in a glass didn't survive unfortunately and I think it may have cracked when I dropped it off the spoon earlier. But the shell did dissolve and left us with this thin membrane which was holding it all together. If we take a closer look at these eggs, we can see there's an amazing pattern on them. They are slightly squidgy and they're very delicate. If we dim the lights and shine a flashlight through, you can get some really cool effects. This one reminds me of the moon. What is fun is that, despite them being delicate, they are just about strong enough to bounce. Pretty cool, huh? I thought I'd try it over a plate and see how high they can bounce from. <coughs> Splat! That was about 30 centimetres. And here we can see the membrane which was holding it all together. Unfortunately, I broke one of the others earlier on. And I dropped the other one by mistake when I wasn't filming. So this one was the only one I had left to break. I hope you've enjoyed watching.